Okay, what I worked on today was basically trying to figure out how I can get this trailer out of my seven foot high garage door, which didn't work out too well. I mocked up roughly how the sidewall is going to be. I was hoping I could just crank up this end, drop that end down, roll it out, and then drop it back down. And that didn't work. So what I'm doing now, you can see, well, you can't really see too well, but I took the suspension off this side and I'm going to take the suspension off the other side. And these two little angle irons are where one side of the suspension mounts. I'm just going to drop the whole works down onto the floor. That way, I'm gonna make a set of skids, basically. So I will just, after I've got the whole cabin done, and it'll be much lower, it's only gonna be, the main frame rails are only gonna be about six inches off the floor, which will give me about two inches clearance to get it under the door. So I'm gonna build <clears throat> basically a set of wooden skids so I can just hook a rope to it at that end and tow it out when it's done. And then I'll jack it up, put the suspension back on, and we'll have a travel trailer. Really sounds simple. <laughs> One thing I am doing right now, which is basically the next thing I'm doing because of being stymied with getting the height, this door is a 72 inch door, which is too high for this trailer. And I got this door from a scratch and dent sale area. Actually, they're a pretty good RV parts place. In fact, they're really good. It's a uh, Norotech in Norwich, Ontario. I got this door. and five windows for less than, for around $900, including tax. But, like I say, this door is too high. But I've been looking at it fairly carefully because the only proper height doors I can find are brand new and very expensive. So I'm gonna shorten it. Right now, I'm in the process of taking it apart. You can see I've got the screen door sitting here across the wheel well boxes. And I think it'll be fairly easy to shorten. You can see it's a bevel cut. A couple of screws in each end. And this is just a plastic panel. So I'll remove the screws, take the bottom off, angle cut it up about two inches on each side, cut the panel, shorten the panel by two inches, and that'll be fairly easy. As you can see, the hinges, I can remove the whole door frame now by taking the, all these screws out. There's six screws at each hinge. I'll take them all out and as you can see it's the same sort of setup. You've got a bevel or an angle cut and one screw and from what I've read this is just fiberglass foam sandwich. Either way I can cut it and I have a I have a saw that uh, We'll cut metal, aluminum, steel, what have you, on an angle. So I'll shorten this by two inches. I may have to get some new uh, weather stripping, but I'm pretty sure I can take this off. Actually, you can't see it very well. I'm pretty sure I can take this off and just glue it back on. At any rate, that's tomorrow's job. 
after I lower the whole trailer down on the ground. And then I will have a proper size door. In the used doors that I was looking at, the only ones I found had the square edges on the top. And in my research, I found that when you're going to use a fiberglass skin, it's a bad idea to use square edges because sometimes you get cracking out from the point of the square edge where the rounded edges uh, prevent that. But also the rounded edges, <laughs> they look a lot nicer. You can see I've made up the nose, trimmed it all up. I think it looks pretty good. The inside of the trailer when I'm done is going to be 5 foot 11 high. More than enough for me and my wife with her shoes on, that clears her by about half an inch. Anyway, that's progress up to now. Hopefully I have uh, more to report tomorrow. Thanks for watching.